Lupita is protesting the Zookeeper premiere. I think it's kind of funny. Yeah, Zookeeper is this new movie with Kevin James. It just um, had its premiere this week in Westwood. And PETA was there with like 50 people with signs saying, boycott the movie, don't go see it because they abused animals in the movie. But how, do they, how can they really prove that? Well, they're saying that, um, that they started going after it because a giraffe died on set. But he didn't die on set. He died two days in the zoo, but he, it was two days after he had finished filming. So something that was done on set could have attri been attributed to his death, but he right. did die at the zoo. But the thing is, PETA, it's not like these main characters are real animals. <laughs> I mean, they're talking. So are they getting mad that there's like a gorilla wearing a polo? I just there is I real animals. Well, look. no, but I mean, look at them. They're talking. Yeah, there's real animals, but they're not in every scene. They're not these main <laughs> ones talking to Kevin James, helping him with his love life. <laughs> no. I mean, okay, I'm... I'm a big animal lover. I, I love PETA. I think they go a little too crazy sometimes. They're very passionate, but this just seems really weird to me. Yeah, I think it's Hollywood's not going to be happy about this because obviously they're saying boycott the movie. They're going to lose money if people actually do right. it. PETA is somewhat influential, I would say. I think so. Um, and I think they're doing this because they want to bring to attention the issue of animal cruelty in movies. Obviously, I get that. I just don't know if this is going to help them doing it this way. I don't. I, th I think on such a movie with a, such a big budget, th these animals aren't going to be treated like badly. Crap. No, yeah. I mean they're probably having a very nice time. You know, <laughs> they're sure, having a great I'm time sure, on set. I'm sure it's lovely. They're shooting the shit with the celebs, having a great time. Yeah. Can they just go back to throwing red paint on people wearing real fur? That's what I love about PETA. <laughs> That's what I want to see. Like, just leave the premieres alone. Now you're getting too Hollywood. Not happily protesting with posters. You want to see some red paint? Yeah, I what if they had done that at the premiere? Then, then that would be a great story to report on. <laughs> well, dude, no. What? It's a zookeeper. Talk to us, It's JR. a movie about fucking talking animals. And, there's, <laughs> and it's not directed at 12, uh, 9, 10, and 11-year-olds. <laughs> All Peter has to do to get people to not watch this movie is say, watch the preview. And no one will watch this Ah, uh, but they're not that smart. <laughs> well, you'd think. I, it's the worst. It, it actually pisses me off every time I see a movie with something talking that shouldn't be talking. The last <laughs> movie I enjoyed where things talking that shouldn't be talking was Look Who's Talking back when I was oh, that's six, so seven low. years wow, old. Yeah. yeah. Well, Ever since then, and the only reason I liked it is because I was six or seven years old. <laughs> it's stupid. It's but if it's, if it's a cartoon, you don't have a problem with it, right? No, no, yeah, because right. like Cartoons you're totally trying fine. to make uh, all the all the movies that was that there was a movie Snow Dogs or something that no, that wasn't oh, Snow God. Dogs, but all those kid movies where oh, there's some yeah, animal yeah. You talking. You know what the worst having, one is? Is Night at the Museum. All those, yeah, that's the worst. Mm, it's ridiculous. So I don't watch them. If 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 it if it and those make money because kids will drag their babysitters, their grandmother, their right. grandfather, their father, their uncle, the and everybody get all these ticket sales. Movies like this that are directed at adults. I'm yeah, sorry. it's not gonna do well anyway. Yeah, I so thanks, Peta, for helping it out. <laughs>